Okay, boys and girls, continue with reading, please. Week two, the history of communication. We're on page 324 and 325, please, boys, boys and girls. And the last invention that we talked about in the history of communication was satellites. And now we're going to be talking about the internet, boys and girls. Computers first came into practical use in the mid-1900s. However, for many years, there was no way to link computers together to allow the sharing of information among them. For the second half of the 1900s, the emergence of the internet became one of the most important breakthroughs in the history of communication. In the 1960s, the United States government's Department of Defense developed a network, interconnected system, of military and government computers. The network was intended to protect the information on those computers in case of a war or disaster. Soon universities, corporations, and other organizations developed their own computer networks. Eventually, these networks joined with the government network to form the internet. The word internet means an interconnected network of networks. The wider application or use of the internet began in 1991. That year, a British computer scientist named Tim Berners-Lee developed the World Wide Web. The web is made up of electronic address addresses called websites, which contain web pages that hold information. People can use the web to access or get to an enormous range of documents, illustrations, sounds, and moving pictures. In many ways, the web resembles a vast library of interconnected information. Programs called search engines help people sort through this huge amount of information to find what they want. High-speed cables, cellular towers, and satellites can be used to connect a computer to the internet. And you see this illustration, boys and girls, again, this is the our Earth, the horizon. You see how it curves? That's the horizon. And satellites orbiting our Earth, one of the many, it sends signals to towers and to wires. And that is how the internet is circulates. That's how the internet moves. That's through these signals. And you can get internet on your TV at home, your personal computer, um, cable routers, tablets, laptops, cell phones, you name it, boys and girls. And this is something that we all use now. It's very common now. The internet, the Wi-Fi, it's everywhere, boys and girls. And in all devices, you can connect it. You can connect to the web for many devices, boys and girls. But the thing that I find interesting, it all started in the 1960s, but with government, defense. They needed to make these different computers somehow connect with one another without wires in case there was war or disaster so these computers can communicate information, boys and girls. That was the reason. That's how the Internet began. That's how these computers started, quote unquote, talking to one another communicating with, with one another, sharing information, was because the United States wanted to keep us safe in case of war and disaster. And then soon, universities, corporations, other big organizations wanted to get in, in, wanted to join them, wanted to have access to that information. So then that is how all of these computers started being connected and internet was invented, created, formed. Um, but the kind of internet you and I use for personal things, for school things, for fun things, didn't begin until 1991. And if you do the math, boys and girls, the year is 2020. If you subtract 1991, you will get 29. So for only 29 years, boys and girls, has the internet really existed the way we use it. For 29 years... That's how long the internet, the World Wide Web, has existed and has been used by just regular people like you and me. And that's cool. It's not that old, boys and girls. The internet, just 29 years old. And let's see. 
here, boys and girls, how the internet began. And this is our panette. And that is how it began, boys and girls, the, the defense government. That is how the internet was first began. And these are all different providers and, and apps and websites that now are very common, commonly used with the internet and Wi-Fi, boys and girls. Okay, and we have big question marks. I know it's 2014 here, but who knows what's coming next, guys? Who knows what search engines are coming, what apps are still waiting to be invented out of necessity? All right, thank you, boys and girls. Oh, I wonder what's next after the internet. Thank you, boys and girls.